in primavera we have resources right for that particular resources we also can able to uh, view and modify the resource usage so that we can do a resource usage spreadsheet that we will see where and then how to do that okay so for that i will start with uh, some uh, fresh project So in this project, I will add few activities. I will link all this and then I will schedule. Okay. So for this, I will add resources also. So these resources we can create. I am going to reuse the same resource that I am already created. Okay, when we are adding resources to the particular activity, we can able to see the budgeted units automatically taking the calendar hours. So two days into 10 hour, so 20 hour budgeted unit. Okay. Again, for the next activity, I will add some other resources. So like this, we can able to see the budgeted unit automatically coming. Okay. So now we can able to go here for resource usage spreadsheet. When you clicking that you can able to view the separate resource and the working hours. So here we can able to see 10 hours every day. So for example, if I want to convert this uh, 20 hours to only 5 hours so that we need to enter here click and enter okay then you can able to view the resource usage spreadsheet so for the particular uh, activity and we need to select the particular resource okay so here in display all resources we can go only for a current project resource then we can able to see only the two resources coming now you can able to select the particular resource and you can able to see here now it changed to only three hours per day but this is also like rounding off but if you want to see the exact value you can just go to edit user preferences and here in time unit units format so unit of time it is an hour that's why we can able to see three hour and the label See show unit label that's why we can able to see 3 H. Now I will go for a two decimal place. So for example 40.50 hour. So I will close it. So here you can able to just make bigger like this. Now you can able to see exactly 2.5 hours every day. So for two day. So that's what we have 5 hours. Okay okay so like this we can able to view the resource usage spreadsheet and we can also modify for example for the particular day if you want to change something in this case i in this first day i will put the 10 hours so totally it became 12.5 hours that we can able to correlate here in the details see automatically the budgeted unit it will become 12.5 so like this we can able to modify our uh, resource usage through the resource usage spreadsheet So for example, for the next resource also, I will try to change something. So second activity, you need to select the particular activity, then only you can able to view and then we can able to modify. 
so here for example four hour for the first day and then eight hour again four hour again eight hour so totally it will become 24 okay but here if you are putting something for example 120 i am putting directly so this it will be like averagely taken and that it will update here so since uh, i modified something accordingly it is also modifying So here it is like a 20, 40, 20, 40. So before I gave 4 and then uh, 10, 4, 10 like that, right? So it's automatically going just like that. Okay. So after modifying these things, now we can able to see here 40 hours, right? Now I will try to put here something uh, like 50. So we can able to go back and we can able to view that. So it is averagely taking 12.5 hours every day. Okay, so if the person going to work for only 10 hours usually, so he's supposed to work for another 2.5 hours that we can consider as a overtime or we can able to like compensate something for that particular person so that depends of the company but like this we can able to work with the resource usage spreadsheet and resource usage so kindly make use of it so it is very useful for any kind of project for any kind of activities and for many resources and we can able to just uh, modify these things here in the spreadsheet okay so like this we can able to work with the budgeted unit and also resource usage spreadsheet okay this is also very important for any project since we are going to deal with many labor and then uh, many kind of resources so for them if you want to update to the particular day how many hours they are going to work like that you can able to update so when you are going to create a project and you are going to fix who is working for how many hours for the particular activity for the particular project everything we can able to do before starting the project itself then accordingly you need to follow the work procedures so i hope this finds useful to you so